So I want to show you something. I have Universal Audio. If I open up Universal Audio, you'll notice that I have uh, two devices. Let's see. Console settings. I have in hardware, I have an Apollo 16 as well as an Apollo Classic. And that gives me a total of 128 outputs between the two of them. Um, so the problem is, is that um, because of that, the 128 outputs, I cannot use it in Pro Tools. Pro Tools restricts 32 in and out. So I have two I.O. presets, one called Studio One, which is the software Studio One, and one called Pro Tools, and I've named it after myself, Tony. But if you notice, with um, all of the outputs enabled, I literally have, you know, these are, on, these are offline, but I have on the right, I have 64 outputs and I have 58 inputs. That's too many for Pro Tools. So what I have to do is literally decide what I want to keep. For instance, uh, virtual, all the virtual buses that you can use uh, that I could use in Studio One, I'm not going to make myself, uh, I'm not going to make them available for myself in Pro Tools because I don't, I have to live to live without them. I have to limit my inputs to simply the line inputs as well as the line outputs on my Apollo Classic, including the ADAT. I have to get rid of all the SPDIF and virtual buses that are in uh, the UA platform. And then I have to limit my outputs to only the analog outputs that I use on both the Apollo Classic down here as well as the Apollo 16. And uh, get rid of a lot of the digital that I don't use and virtual that I don't use. So the way I do it is I literally have to go in and delete it. And it's real simple to do. It's just changing it to none. And that's basically what it comes down to, is changing it to none. Now I'm going to put it back to where it was before, which I believe is analog 16. Nope, it's actually uh, analog, let's see, virtual B7. So let me just change that back. Um, hold on, virtual B7, B8, there you go. All right, so it's back to what it was. But that's literally how you turn an input, uh, turn off the 58th input, if you will, is by literally say, telling the 58th input to be a none, and that essentially shuts it off. So uh, that's what I did. Um, just a heads up that you'll notice if some of these are, are not enabled, like for instance, this is not enabled, it's because the way your configuration is set up, you may not have access to them. That's what it comes down to. Uh, here's a good example just to show you, demonstrate. To, if you notice that line three and four are available for me right now. So let me go ahead and if I was to simply hijack the routing of the software to say, for instance, take uh, the first desktop, I, I call it mic one desktop mic. But if I was to go ahead and route it to line five, that means that I'm using output five within my um, within Universal Audio, therefore it does not make it available to the software. So let's go back to the software again, look at the console settings, and you notice it disabled five for me. So if you see something disabled um, in your console settings, it's because you're using it within the software itself, and you're hijacking the ability for the software to route to it because you're using the Apollo uh, console software to route directly to it, and that's why that works, okay? So let me go ahead and um, leave that bill. Of course, the only, uh, the only um, uh, monitor outputs that I know that you can in fact use and let the software use it in addition to the console is the monitor outputs from what I what I can gather. So anyway, getting back to how I enable it for Pro Tools mode, um, if you notice the problem will be if I start Pro Tools, um, what it's going to tell me is because I have 53 outputs or whatever I mentioned before, it's not going to want to run the software. And in fact, I am using the latest version of 11. I know we're up to 12 now, but even 11 will, once I click this IO, IO channel count for current playback device um, has changed. And that's the message you get. Even if you click OK, it just sits there and hangs. I notice that it, it just, you don't see this, but I get a pinwheel right now and I'm forced to literally just um, quit it. Oh, it stopped by itself this time. Often it doesn't stop, but I, I, didn't, I never even did a quit. it quit. It quit on its own. So just a heads up, that's the problem. So how do you fix this? Simple, I go to my console settings, and then I'm going to go ahead and change it to my Pro Tools 11, and I'm going to click the Load button. And I've already done this before, but you can kind of see that I've selected which 32 uh, inputs and 32 outputs. In fact, I only use 24 outputs in my setup. Um, and that's how I do it. Now, if I try to start Pro Tools, it's not going to give you that message anymore. Let me go ahead and close this out. But you, it will load successfully and give me the classic uh, 
and Pro Tools is running, and my playback engine is set to Universal Audio. So that's in a nutshell. That's how you deal with this problem. I hope that helps somebody out there in this world.